Today uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to make a plant watering system. It's an automatic plant watering system that uh, uh, that can water the plants when the soil moisture level decreases to a certain level, below a certain level, and it will water the plants until the soil moisture con uh, content reaches to a particular level. So most of the time when uh, uh, most of the time people have plants in their houses and if they go out for a few days or a week or so on vacation or something, uh, this solution can help them. They don't have to worry about uh, someone watering their plants or the plants dying, dying without water. So to achieve this, uh, we need a soil hydrometer sensor. Uh, it's a pretty cheap, uh, cheap sensor. This has two, two, two inputs, two outputs, which connects to this circuit. This circuit is a potentiometer and it gives, it takes a 5 volt DC, a ground, a digital output and an analog output. So for higher accuracies, we can take the analog output. But for now, for prototyping, I have used this digital output. This digital output is connected to a GPIO pin on my Raspberry Pi. And uh, this has so from this GPIO pin, I I get I get I I read this pin uh, digital output pin for a zero or a one. So when this is when this senses dryness, so now this is dry. So it senses dryness. It pulls the pin high. It keeps the pin high. When it senses water, it pulls the pin low. And that is read by my Raspberry Pi. Now this Raspberry Pi, all this, all two GPIOs of this Raspberry Pi are also connected to this edge bridge. This is the edge bridge. This edge bridge is uh, a L293D. It can control two different motors, two different motors. And this is connected to my pump here, the 6 volt pump. The 6 volt pump, the input water, I have taken it here. And the water will come out of here. This is the drain pipe. So ideally this will be connected to, uh, to a flower pot. So what so I'm gonna I'm what I'm gonna do is when I dip this in water so that it senses water, there should not be any flow of water here. And when I take it out, it senses dryness, there is no water. So it should my pie should turn on the pump and we should see the flow of water here. You can also hear the pump moving. So all of this has been, uh, this is the hardware that has been used. So I have written a small code to control this. So you can see here when the pump starts, it will tell you the pump has started. And when the pump stops, it will tell you the pump has stopped. So let's start. Okay. So I am keeping it here. So the pump is in stopped condition because the sensor is in water, it has detected water. Now when I remove this, you can see that the, you can hear the motor starting and you can see the water coming out here. Can you focus? Can you see the water coming out? Now when I put the sensor in, it senses water and it stops. Let's do it again. See? So, the reason why I have not directly connected the motor to Raspberry Pi is if you focus here, it's a 6 volt motor and if you see, the starting current is 1.3 amps here and, the, and it keeps and it requires 1.3 amps to pump this much water. So, Raspberry Pi can provide to so its GPIOs only 500 milliamps of current, maximum 330. If you, if you directly connect this motor to Raspberry Pi, it will blow its fuse. So it's better to connect it to the 293D H bridge. You can easily get it from Amazon. Hope you liked the video. Thank you.